the 2010 Derby was Super Saver was one of the sloppiest I've ever seen. Beautiful day for the race, but the track was sloppy. You know, a lot of people always say, oh, in order to win the Derby, you have to have everything go right the whole way. And in his case, it certainly wasn't true because it didn't happen really until the last three weeks. He was moving great. He was eating good. Uh, you could tell that he was going to run a big race. And then we were able to secure Calvin Burrell. The morning line favorite, looking at Lucky, is now the co-favorite at 8-1, to one, along with Super Saver, ridden by Calvin Burrell. That brief four-year period, there's only one jockey you'd want on your horse. The way Calvin rides Churchill down, some guys go in the one path, he takes it to another extreme, and he's literally right on top of the rail. And I think especially when the track was like it was that day when it was sloppy. We had a game plan. We knew that Calvin, when he, you know, when he drew the post four, that he was going to try to get to the rail and save ground. The feeling and the anticipation of it uh, is the longest eight minutes between the time they leave the paddock and, and the time they break at the starting gate. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. He broke great. I think looking at Lucky was the one, did not get away well. And so Calvin was able to come over right away and, and secure that position that he wanted on the on the rail. Looking at Lucky, he had to stop on the brakes in the early going. So it's conveyance. Super Saver Tiz inside as they make their move headlong for that critical first turn. When Calvin came under the wire the first time and he got to the fence and got him settled in uh, right behind the speed, uh, we started to feel really good about things. And Super Saver Calvin Burrell, they are glued to the rail, moving into the turn, they're running in six. You hear a lot of guys say, you know, the half mile pole where the track kitchen is, that's where you want to start making that move. You could tell he was getting there and he was starting to build up momentum. Super Saver is fourth, he's still down inside, but Super Saver's now starting to move. The leaders were backing up the horse on his inside rail. Calvin swung to his outside uh, to get in the clear, grabs the lead, quickly goes back to the rail. It was a textbook Calvin Bow rail. As the field turns for home, Super Saver down on that fence, now he's in front. Hit the top of the stretch and turn for home, it's like, this is gonna happen. And they're coming down to the finish, and it is Super Saver. At the eighth pole, it looked like he was gonna win. He'd taken the lead, he'd opened up three links, and and you're just you're just looking to get to that wire because you know that horses are, are coming. A late run from Icebox, but it's Super Saver and Calvin Burrell, the unflappable Calvin Burrell, riding that rail to victory once again in the Kentucky Derby. I felt just a sense of relief, like you know, finally we were able to do this. But also felt a lot of joy, especially when I started seeing my family afterwards. Sometimes it's hard to take a step back and reflect on you know, achievements, but, you know, when you win the Derby, to think that that's going to be in the history books for forever. As Calvin Burrell makes history, the only jockey ever to win the Kentucky Derby three times in a four-year span. At the time, it was Calvin Burrell's world, and we were all living it. Just tell somebody you're in the horse business. That's the number one question you get. And so to be able to say, yes, uh, we've been blessed enough to win the Kentucky Derby uh, is an amazing feeling.